Okay, we're gonna start a new series on this channel. Now, how many of you guys have seen the movie Julie and Julia? It's this movie from like a decade ago. Meryl Streep is okay, you know, not normally my cup of tea, but I enjoyed it. I mostly liked the idea behind it, which is like based on this true story of this character who's like down on their luck. So they start this cooking blog where they challenge themselves to cook every single recipe in Julia Child's cookbook within a year. And this blog that she makes, it becomes super successful and people start following her ups and her downs. And does she succeed? Maybe she doesn't, I don't know, I don't wanna spoil it. Anyway, I like the idea behind the movie, which is taking Julia Child's cookbook, picking recipes from it and making them. I thought, well, what, let's do it for the show. Start a new series called Jamie and Julia. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, <laughs> bon appetit. Mastering the art of French cooking. So the beginning of Anti-Chef started very similarly to this. Uh, I think that's why I like the idea so much, where I would just take recipes from cookbooks, I just pick whatever and I would make it. Well, the show is kind of turned into its own separate thing now. And um, <laughs> it's blotting some white against the coastline for that, you know, the waves crashing down against the, the rocks near the, but the waves. I could be doing more to learn how to cook. Tapered rope of fondant to make my unicorn horn. And cook in a way that's gonna be more beneficial to me uh, throughout the week. So I wanna get back into the early origins of like this cooking show and I got my new cookbook. I'm gonna flip it open and I'm gonna pick a recipe. Not that one, I know which one. I already planned it beforehand, but you get the idea. So today we're gonna make ratatouille. And all I know about ratatouille is that there's a movie called Ratatouille and there's a, a rat that learns how to, oh, the rat knows how to cook. The rat secretly cooking recipes at a restaurant uh, in Paris um, on the down low because he's a rat. Um, that's what I know about ratatouille. Ratatouille, eggplant casserole with tomatoes, onions, peppers, and zucchini. Ratatouille perfumes the kitchen with the essence of Provence and is certainly one of the great Mediterranean di 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 dishes. You know, half a pound of zucchini and half a pound of eggplant. These are my two least favorite vegetables of all time. I don't like either of these at all. I don't know which one I dislike more. I, I dislike them both. So I need to peel an eggplant. So let's cut it lengthwise. I'm not 100% if this is what Julia means. I mean, it is three inches long, it's one inch wide, and it's three eighths of an inch thick. So I hope I did what she told me to do. Slice off the two ends and cut into the same size as the eggplant. Zucchini and eggplant in a bowl. Okay, with a little bit of salt. Woo! Let this hang out for half an hour. And uh, while that's doing that, I'm going to mise en place the rest of my ingredients. Mise en place is just a fancy word for get everything ready. There's a right way to cut vegetables. This is something that I've been avoiding for a very long time. I went to baking and I just was like, how to cut vegetables? Who cares? I need half a pound of onions. Cut it in half. Peel off all this horse in half again. Hold your fingers like so and your thumb like at the base. And I'm just like, each time I cut a slice, I push the onion forward with my thumb, I think. And I don't wanna cut off my fingers, so let's just figure this out. Where you go, and then you push it forward with your thumb. At least that's my interpretation of it uh, today. That could change tomorrow. Holding the knife with my index finger and my thumb like on the blade, I think. That's what Julia says. Sliced onions. <laughs> Two green peppers, they need to be sliced. Take those blasted seeds out. Yeah, like that, that's cool. Oh, I should do my uh, practice what I preach. I bet you never seen me eat a vegetable before. One pound of firm, ripe red tomatoes, peeled, seeded, and juiced, page 536. Okay. Peeled tomatoes, you need to 
boil up some water. I think I need to use all these tomatoes to get a pound. So I have nine very ripe tomatoes. I'm gonna to drop each one of them into this boiling hot water. 10 seconds, starting now. Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10 Mississippi. One, two, three, and some change. Okay, let's just chill for a second. Julia says, if I stick a knife, use a firm drop, remove, cut out the stem. Peel off the skin starting from the stem hole. So cut off the stem. Oh, I see what she's talking about. That's the stem. Oh, and then you can just peel it that way. Genius, Julia. Peeled tomato. Cut out the stem. Peeled tomatoes, I need to cut them crosswise. Just cut right through. Yes. Right? Bowl, sieve, squeeze. Extract the seeds and juices from the center of the tomato. Seeded and juiced, although there are a few seeds in there. I got some tomato juice too for a rainy day. I also need two cloves of garlic mashed. I believe that is mashed. Okay, so everything has been mise en place. That means I'm ready to cook. 10 to 12 inch fry. I need a frying pan. So I need to saute. What the hell is saute again? To cook and brown food in a very small quantity. Three tablespoons, let's just wing it. One layer at a time, saute the eggplant and the zucchini. Just remember to dry them in a cloth for about a minute on each side. And you just set them aside. So in the same frying pan, I'm gonna add the onions and peppers. More olive oil. I used all of it for the zucchini and the eggplants. That was my mistake. And I need to cook this for like 10 minutes. I don't know what the stove top should be at. I'm gonna put it at medium, medium. They gotta be tender, but not browned. After 10 minutes, add the garlic, stir that in. Pepper, salt, season, 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 season. Slice the tomato pulp in half inch strips, lay them over the onions and the peppers. Season, season, season. So cover and cook on low for five minutes until the tomatoes have rendered their juices. After five minutes, baste the tomatoes with the juices. Raise heat and boil for several minutes. That juice needs to be almost evaporated, which it totally is. You need some parsley. I don't know what to do with it exactly. I need like three tablespoons and I'll probably just cut it up. Switch pans. So I have a frying pan out with the old. I use this casserole dish in with the new. Third of this mixture into this casserole dish. Sprinkle, uh, what am I saying? This is parsley. Arrange half the eggplants and zucchini. I forgot about that. Another half of this stuff. Parsley. Finish with the remaining stuff. I have a lot of leftover tomato juice. I honestly think I'm just gonna pour this in here and just get the party started with that as well. Cover this for 10 minutes. What? Baste with the tomato juices. All right, let's just consider that basted. So I need to cook this uncovered for 15 minutes until the juices have uh, evaporated. A little bit more salt wouldn't hurt, nor would a little bit more pepper. Okay. A zucchini and eggplant. And changed man. I actually like this quite a bit. And I really like the tomatoes. It's got a little kick to it. I'm not sure if that's the pepper I added or the green pepper. The vegetables are perfectly cooked. Eggplant and zucchini, normally I wouldn't touch them with a 10 foot pole, but they're working in here today. I don't know if it's a main course, but it'd be perfect for a side. And thus concludes Jamie versus Julia, part one. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching today. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already, if you're new here. Also, big shout out to my supporters on Patreon. They're up on the screen right now. They're helping out big time. And if you're interested in that, there's a link in the description. I think that's it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.